Hello dear students, welcome back to physics online session. So in last videos, we discussed the concept related to effective capacitance and effective dielectric constant value when that dielectric medium having different values. So K1 and K2 I consider here. So in that case, so if these two dielectric medium are placed between the capacitor, so in a such a aspect that so area of that each dielectric medium is a by 2 so in that case i got that effective dielectric constant value k effective is equal to k1 plus k2 divided by 2 in that second case so i fill the dielectric medium in a such a way that so its area is a and the thickness of the dielectric medium is half of the distance between the plate. So in that situation, I got that effective capacitance as well as effective dielectric constant. Effective dielectric constant value is 2 times of K1 into K2 divided by K1 plus of K2. So hope you are understanding these things. Now today's class, let me focus on what is the mathematical expression for energy stored in case of a capacitor. So this concept is very much important for that theory examination as well as for that uh, neat examination even. So let me derive the expression for energy stored in case of a capacitor. So in capacitor I said that it consists of the two plates and these two plates are arranged in a parallel manner. So if that initial potential difference is zero means what is the charge on the plate? So charge on the plate will be zero, right? Now I am supplying certain kind of charges to the top plate here. It means that I am, I am applying certain kind of potential difference to those plate. Then Q amount of charge will establish on the plate here. Then, so in order to deposit the charges on the plate, how much energy is required I need to find out. So I want to give that mathematical approach for that energy stored in case of a capacitor. So that derivation is important for that theory examination. So let me derive an expression for, so for that annual examination, they may ask the question like so, derive an expression for derive an expression for energy stored derive an expression for energy stored in case of capacitor so we will derive the expression for energy stored in case of a capacitor so for that purpose so i said that so that <coughs> capacitor consists of that two plates here and these two plates are placed parallel to each other. So let me take this is plate A at a certain distance from that plate A I will take that another plate so that plate is B here. So initial charge on these two plate is zero here these two plate are placed parallel to each other. So let initially, so the charge on that each plate is zero here. So initial charge is zero. Now I will apply a certain kind of potential difference between these two plates. If I apply the potential difference, let Q amount of charges will start deposit on that plate A as well as on that plate B here. Now charge on the plate A and plate B will be Q amount here. So now in order to deposit the charge on that plates here, so then what will be the energy is required I need to find out here. So let me consider, consider a parallel plate, parallel plate AB, initial, initially charge on the plate initially charge on the plate is zero plate is zero now now i want to deposit the charge q amount here now q amount amount of charge q amount of charge is develop develop on the plates plates by applying a by applying a potential difference 
by applying the potential difference V here. So by applying a potential difference V amount, so then charge will get deposit on the plates here. So now let me consider that what is the work done here. So work done to store the charges on that plates here. So that work done will store it as a potential energy. We have that generalized formula work done is equal to what force into displacement here. Next I will consider that so work done work done to store the charge. So work done is equal to what? So work done is equal to force into displacement here. Which thing is act as a force here? So by applying the potential difference, then only charges will get deposit here. So here potential is act as a force here. So charges are displacing from that battery to the plates here. So dQ I will consider. So dW is equal to V into dQ here. So now I want to calculate that what is the total amount of work is required in order to deposit the charge from 0 to Q amount here. Initial charge is 0 where Q amount of charge is developed on the plate by applying a potential difference V here. So now I want to find out that total work done here. So let me find out that total work done to store the charge from 0 to Q amount. So in order to find out the total work done, I have to make the summation or integration. So now I will apply that integration here. I want to find out the total work done here. So integration of dW, it is equal to V into dQ here. So so here that I want to apply that integration between the limits here. What are the limits here? Initial charge is 0. Let after applying the potential difference charge will be Q amount here. Integration from 0 to Q amount here. So look at here. So this I will take it as a equation 1. Integration of d of x is x. Integration of d of y is y. In the similar aspect integration of dw is work done w. So let me take that value of V here. So from the uh, basic concept of capacitance, so C is equal to what? So shall I read it as a Q by V here or V is equal to what? V is equal to Q by C here. So look at here. So I want to uh, fill that V value here. So look at here. C is equal to Q by V and V is equal to what here? V is equal to what? Q by C here. V is equal to what? Q by C here. Look at here. 0 to Q and wherever V is there. Shall I fill that Q by C here? Q by C into dQ here. Why? Because so look at here from that basic definition of capacitance. So where V is equal to what? Q by C here. So instead of V I took it as a Q by C here. Now I will consider that uh, constant term. So constant term I will take that outside the integral equation. So which is the constant term here? C is act as a constant term. Here Q is there. Here dQ is there. So, so this C is act as a constant term. So dW is equal to 1 by C integration from 0 to Q, Q into dQ. So let me pause here. So again uh, from that uh, integration, integration of x raised to n into d of x, generalized formula, integration of x raised to n into d of x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. It is in the same form. Instead of x, you will take it as a q here. Nothing is there means power 1. d of x means here dq. So what is the equation here? Wherever x is there, just we will write it as a q here. Wherever n is there, instead of n here, one term is there. 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. q square by 2. So, integration of q into dq is nothing but what? q square by 2. So, from the basic uh, formula for that integration. So, if I apply that integration formula here. So, integration of q into dq is equal to what? q square by 2 here. So, now I will rearrange this equation. So look at here. 
so integration of q into dq here so 1 by c integration of q into dq shall i take it as a q square by 2 here q square by 2 between the limit 0 to q so why because integration of x raised to n into d of x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 if i apply this formula i will get this answer so now let me fill that limit value here so how to fill the limit value upper limit minus of lower limit wherever small q is there what's that upper limit q capital q q square by 2 so wherever that minus upper limit minus of lower limit lower limit is 0 so w is equal to what q square divided by 2 times of c here so this work done is stored it as a energy here so u is equal to q square divided by 2 times of c what is the expression for energy stored in case of capacitor u is equal to q square divided by 2 times of c here so hope you are understanding here i am having two plates here these two plates are placed parallel to each other initially charge on that each plate is zero here if you apply the potential difference then q amount of charge will deposit here then what is the work required or what will be the work done to deposit the charges on the plate so that work done is stored it as a potential energy work done is equal to force into displacement here v is act as a force v into dq here now i will take that total work done here so total work done means i have to apply that integration so if i simplify that i will get that answer here u is equal to q square divided by 2 times of c so this is the required equation for energy stored in case of capacitor so let me consider that some more e equations for energy stored in case of capacitor so look at here what is the answer i get it here q square divided by 2c from that equation i may form that two more equations here so look at here what is the equation i get it q square divided by 2 times of c okay this is the one equation for energy stored in capacitor so we know that c is equal to what q by v q is equal to shall i take it as a c into v here so q is equal to c into v means wherever q is there shall i take that c into v here then equation 1 becomes here then equation 1 becomes so look at here u is equal to wherever q is there c into v q square is there c square into v square divided by 2 times of c one c term will getting cancelled out half of c into v square what is that equation for energy stored in case of capacitor one more equation so half of c into v square here so did you get my point here so what is that equation for energy stored in the capacitor u is equal to q square divided by 2c and another one equation is half of c into v square and one more equation i will take it here so similarly so this is first case for example this is second case you may consider c is equal to what i said q by v okay wherever c is there so just i will take it as a q by v then equation 1 becomes how will you rewrite this equation u is equal to q square divided by 2 2 into c wherever c is there shall i take it as a q by v here one q term will getting cancel out half 1 by 2 v term will goes to numerator so another one q term is there so q into v so this is also required expression for energy stored in case of a capacitor so what are the equation then here so half of so one e first equation u is equal to q square divided by 2c another equation is half of c into v square and one more equation half of q into v so these are all the required expression or required equation for that energy stored in case of a capacitor so now for example wherever q is there so from the concept of surface charge density i can rewrite that one more equation here so look at here 
I got that different equation for energy stored in case of a capacitor. What are that equation? Q square divided by 2 times of C, half of C V square and one more equation half of Q into V here. Now let me consider that one more equation here. <coughs> okay. For example, so I will use the same equation. So from the concept of surface charge density, from surface charge density, from surface charge density, sigma is equal to what? Q by A here, where Q is equal to what? So, Q is equal to shall I consider as a sigma into A here. So, in equation 1, wherever Q is there, shall I take it as a sigma into A here? If I do like so, Q square means sigma square into A square <coughs> divided by 2 times of C. So, where C is nothing but a capacitance of parallel plate capacitor, shall I take that epsilon naught into A divided by D here? So, one A term will getting cancelled out here. I shall rearrange this equation. Half of sigma square. So, if D term will goes to numerator. Sigma square into D divided by. Sorry, one A term is there. Sigma square A into D divided by. Or sigma square A into D divided by 2 times of epsilon naught. So, this is the one more equation for energy stored in, in terms of surface charge density u is equal to sigma square a into d divided by 2 times of epsilon naught. So now for example if these capacitors are arranged in a series combination what is the ratio of energy stored I will consider or if these capacitors are arranged in a parallel combination what will be the equation for energy stored in terms of ratio I will consider. If capacitors are in series, are in series, then energy stored is, then energy stored is. What will be the equation for energy stored in case of capacitor? So, energy stored in case of capacitor when the capacitors are in series combination. So, let me remember here. In series combination, which of the quantity will be remain same? Can anybody remember here? So, in case of series combination, charge is remain same. So, charge is remain same means out of these equation, which equation is used here? So, in case of series combination, charge is remain same means let me use this equation Q square divided by 2 times of C. So, U1 is to U2 to U3. So, that is equal to. Q square divided by 2 times of C1, Q square divided by 2 times of C2, Q square divided by 2 times of C of 3. It will get cancelled out. So, U1 is to U2 is to U3. 1 by C1 is to 1 by C2 is to 1 by C3. What is the equation for? energy stored in case of the capacitor if the capacitors are connected in a series combination so u1 is to u2 is to u3 so 1 by c1 is to 1 by c2 is to 1 by c3 here so if suppose if that capacitors are connected in parallel combination so look at here if capacitors are connected in parallel combination then what will be the equation for energy stored in case of that capacitor so, in parallel combination, which quantity will be remain same? So, in case of parallel combination, potential difference is remains the same. So, I will consider that equation here. In case of parallel combination, which quantity will be remain same here? In case of parallel combination, potential difference is remain same. So, I will use this equation. Half of C into V1 square here. Okay. Sorry, C1 into V square. Potential difference is remain same. C2 into V square half of C3 into V square. So, U1 is to U2 to U3. So, that is equal to C1 is to C2 is to C3. So, this is the required equation for energy stored in case of parallel 
combination here so already i got that energy stored in case of a series combination now let me focus that already i got the expression for energy stored in case of a capacitor so now let me find out that what will be the meaning or what will be the mathematical expression for energy density so that word indicates that energy density means energy per unit volume i will name it as a energy density so now let me look at that what will be the mathematical expression for energy density so in case of that capacitor so i want to get that mathematical expression for energy density here so energy density means energy per unit volume we will consider <coughs> so in case of that capacitor what will be the mathematical expression for energy density i have to find out here so look at here okay so now we'll consider that energy density concept here so what is that energy density first i need to understand energy density here so what is that energy density so energy density is nothing but energy per unit volume i will name it as a energy density here what is that energy density here energy per unit volume energy per unit volume energy per unit volume is known as energy density okay, look at here what is that energy density here energy per unit volume we will name it as a energy density so now i will give that mathematical approach for that energy density so energy density is represented by the symbol mu here so first i will consider that parallel plate so in case of that parallel plate already i derived the expression for capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor so capacitance of parallel plate capacitor capacitance of parallel plate capacitor is given by okay what is the expression here c is equal to epsilon not into a divided by d so let me take this as a equation one so now i will consider that electric field between the plate electric field between the plates so look at here this is positive plate and this is negative plate for the positive plate field lines are outward for the negative plate field lines are inward here so this is for positive and this is for negative what is the expression for that electric field in case of infinite straight wire sorry infinite plane sheet from that first chapter sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught we derived the expression and for the negative plate sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught so then what will be the total electric field between the plate here so e is equal to what so both the electric field lines are in same direction so e1 plus of e2 sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught plus sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught 2 sig 2 epsilon naught 2 times of sigma so sigma by epsilon naught what is that value of electric field between the plate of a capacitor here e is equal to sigma by epsilon naught so i will take that sigma is equal to e into epsilon naught so i will name this as a equation 2 i got that expression for that electric field between the plate of the capacitor so now <coughs> from the concept of surface charge density surface sorry surface charge density is okay surface charge density so sigma is equal to what q by a here what is the value here sigma is equal to q by a where q is equal to what sigma into a here q is equal to what sigma into a so wherever sigma is there shall i take that e into epsilon naught here so i will take this as a equation 3 so i will substitute put equation 2 value in equation 3 put equation Two value in equation 3 if I do like so I got that Q value here Q is equal to Sigma means E into epsilon naught E into epsilon naught into A so this I will name it as a equation 4 so 
just now we derive the expression for energy stored in case of a capacitor so energy stored in case of capacitor capacitor is given by so energy stored in case of a capacitor so that energy e u is equal to what so energy u is equal to q square divided by 2 times of c let me take this as a equation 5 i got that value of q here and value of c here so i will substitute put equation 4 and 1 value in equation 5 here in equation 5 if i do like so u is equal to what e into e square epsilon naught square into a square divided by 2 times of c is nothing but what epsilon naught a divided by d okay one a term will getting cancel out epsilon naught term will get cancel out half of <coughs> e square here one epsilon naught term is there so epsilon naught one a term is there a term so denominator in denominator d is there so it will comes to numerator a into d so this is the required equation for energy here so u is equal to half of e square epsilon naught a into d or half of epsilon naught into e square half of epsilon naught into e square into a sorry into a into d so i got that energy here so i want to calculate that energy density or energy per unit volume energy density is given by energy density is given by so mu is equal to shall i take it as energy per unit volume here so energy per unit volume so energy value is how much or you may take it as a u here half of epsilon naught e square a into d volume shall i take it as a area into length here a into d term will getting cancel out then what will be the final equation for energy density here so mu is equal to half of epsilon naught into e square so this is the required expression for energy density here energy density is nothing but a energy per unit volume so this is the required expression mu is equal to half of epsilon naught into e square here so this is the required expression for energy density here so what is the expression for energy density here so half of epsilon naught into e square here so now i will consider that what will be the expression for force between two parallel plate so i got that equation for energy in case of the capacitor and energy density in case of a parallel plate capacitor now let me consider that what will be the expression for force between parallel plate so in case of that force between okay so now we will consider that force between the parallel plates so already i got that uh, energy between the parallel plate and energy density between the parallel plate so now let me focus on force between the parallel plate force between the parallel plate so in case of that force between the parallel plate so i will consider that two plate here one is plate a another one is plate b here on that plate a positive charge will get accumulate on that plate b negative charges resides here so this is plate b now so because of that uh, plate a and plate b so what kind of forces exist between these two attractive or repulsive so one is positive another one is negative means there must be a attractive force between the plate here so this plate b will get shift from that one position to another position this will be a new position of that plate b here so distance between plate a and plate b will be x here displacement is d of x now we will consider that energy between the plate energy sorry energy between the plate is between the 
plate is what is the equation i got that energy between the plate so just now i got that half of epsilon naught e square a into d so where d is nothing but distance between the plate so here distance between the plate is x here so what's that value here so energy between the plate is u is equal to half of epsilon naught e square into a into x here so now let me consider that du by d of x or u by x or du by d of x is equal to half of epsilon naught into e square where du by dx is nothing but what for example work done is equal to force into displacement work done divided by displacement is equal to force this work done is stored it as the energy here so du by dx is nothing but what so du by dx is nothing but a force here so here du by dx is nothing but a f here so what is the required expression here f is equal to half of epsilon naught into e square so this is the required expression for that force between the parallel plate what is the expression here so e is sorry f is equal to half of epsilon naught into e square so we are deriving the expression for force between the parallel plate so in order to derive that equation already i got that expression for energy between the plate so that is half of epsilon naught e square a into x just i will rearrange here so u by x r so du by dx is equal to half of epsilon naught into e square where du by dx is nothing but a force here f is equal to half of epsilon naught into e square so now let me consider that another equations for that force between the parallel plate so we'll look at some application here for example so in case of that a uh, parallel plate so parallel in case of that parallel plate for isolated for isolated charge so it means that charge is remains the same in case of capacitor for isolated charged capacitor so now let me consider for isolated charged capacitor what will be the expression for that uh, force i will consider here so in case of that parallel plate if that isolated charge are present means so for that isolated charged capacitor what will be the force between these isolated charged capacitor i need to find out here so for that purpose first i will consider that electric field between the plate electric field is given by so i will consider the concept of electric field due to a positive plate for example what will be the expression for electric field in case of infinite uh, plane sheet here e is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught where sigma is nothing but a surface charge density sigma shall I write as a cube by a here where q divided by a sorry q divided by a into 2 epsilon naught here so 2 epsilon naught into a here so did you get my point why because sigma is nothing but a what q by a so look at here so where sigma is equal to q by a here so e is equal to q divided by <laughs> 2 a epsilon naught what is the expression here so e is equal to what q divided by 2 a epsilon naught where force is nothing but so we know that relation between field and force f is equal to e into q shall i write this equation so from that first chapter so f is equal to what electric field strength f is equal to e into q i will fill that <coughs> equation one value in equation two so i will substitute put equation one value in equation two here so electric field in case of that infinite plane sheet so that is the expression so e is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught where sigma is nothing but a q by a so this equation i will realter as a q divided by 2 times of a into epsilon naught so final equation f is equal to so wherever e is there q divided by 2 a epsilon naught into q or q square divided by 2 into a into epsilon naught so look at here so for isolated charged capacitor force value is f is equal to q square divided by 2 into a into epsilon naught so it means that 
so this force is independent on separation between the plate here so did you get my point so i want to consider that mathematical expression for force in case of isolated charged capacitor so what's the answer i get it here f is equal to q square divided by 2a epsilon naught it means that force is independent on the separation so here there is no x, x term here so if there is no distance term means so force is independent on the separation here so in case of that isolated charged capacitor force is independent on the separation it means that in order to make that separation between the plate so what kind of force is required constant force is required so did you get my point so look at here that is force is not depend on not depend on the sur on the separation here separation between the plate so force is independent on the separation between the plate means what kind of force is required in order to bring that uh, away or in order to bring it closer here of course constant force is required why because force is independent on the separation so that is what i want to believe here so that is force is not depends on the uh, separation between the plate then constant force is required then what kind of force is required here constant force is required to change the separation so did you get my point change the separation so look at here so in these two plate if isolated charged is there means so then i want to bring it closer i want to bring it away here in order to bring the closer in order to bring it away so force value is constant why because so in these case so if that isolated charges are accumulate means force is independent on this separation however you are increase or decrease the separation force value will be constant so constant force is required to change the separation for isolated charged capacitor so now let me consider one more equation if that constant potential difference is applied here so if that potential difference is constant so look at here one more condition if potential difference is constant <clears throat> okay if potential difference is constant then now i will consider that what will be the expression for force between the parallel plate if that potential difference is constant whether <clears throat> force is depends on the separation or not i want to find out so in that first case i i said that for isolated charged capacitor force is independent on the separation so constant amount of force is required to change the separation now let me consider if constant potential difference is there then i will arrange the then i will get that expression for force here so i will use this equation i will uh, modify this equation f is equal to q square divided by 2a into epsilon naught from the basic definition of capacitance c is equal to q by v where q is equal to c into v let me write this equation f is equal to <coughs> sorry f is equal to wherever q square is there so let me write c square into v square okay so c square into v square divided by 2 times of a into epsilon naught so did you get my point here so what is the expression here q square is nothing but what so q square is equal to what so q square is equal to uh, sorry uh, q square is equal to what c square into v square divided by 2 a into epsilon naught here where c is nothing but a capacitance of parallel plate capacitor what its value here c is equal to epsilon naught into a divided by d so where c square is epsilon naught square a square divided by d square here into v square a into epsilon naught hope you are understanding here wherever c square is there epsilon naught square a square into d square remaining term as it is v square okay sorry two term i skip here so 2 epsilon naught so 2 into a into epsilon naught here one a term will get cancelled out one epsilon naught term is getting cancelled out here so f is equal to half 1 by 2 one epsilon naught term is there so half of epsilon naught into a 
divided by v square into d square. So, this is the expression here. What is that force between the parallel plate? If constant potential difference is applied here, so f is equal to half of epsilon naught a into v square by d square here. So, this force is depends upon the separation here. So, that is in case of a parallel plate capacitor, if potential difference is constant means for that separation variable force is required here. Why? Because force is depends on the separation. So, that is variable force is required variable force is required to change the separation to change the separation between the plate so simply you can understand that for example you are having that parallel plate capacitor if isolated charges are there means what is the expression for force between the parallel plate f is equal to q square divided by 2a into epsilon naught. So, in this force term there is no this means there is no separation between the plate term. So, it means that force is independent on the separation. So, it means that so constant force is required to change the separation. However, you may make that a change in separation force value should be constant. Why? Because force is independent on the separation for that isolated charged capacitor. So, for that uh, capacitor, for that parallel plate capacitor, if constant potential difference is applied means this is the required equation for the force between the parallel plate if that potential difference is constant. F is equal to half of epsilon naught into A into V square divided by D square here. So, it means that in case of that <coughs> capacitance of a parallel plate for constant potential difference force is depends upon the distance between the plate. It means that variable force is required to change the separation. So, separation is 